Aside from the music, what do you do professionally? Well, you know, I uh, went to the U of I here and got a master's degree in electrical engineering, and I work in town as an electrical engineer. I work in town in Urbana at a, a little uh, publishing company. I'm a paste-up artist. I'm taking senior year at Central High School next year. <laughs> and <laughs> junior year this year. And <laughs> sophomore year. I set my alarm clock every day for 2 o'clock so I can get up in time to watch the 3 o'clock afternoon matinee on Channel 3. <laughs> That's the truth. But you're going to school next year. Don't, I mean, yeah, I'm going to go to school part-time in the fall. How much time do you spend on stage per week, let's say, or two per week? Three to six hours, because we normally don't play any more than one or two gigs a week, and we keep it to the weekends pretty much, as and much as possible. There's setup time, too. Yeah, setup time takes a lot more than... Setup and breakdown will probably... Add three hours to each gig. Yeah. How would you describe the music of the Vertebrates? I think basically it's, it's, it's basically founded at rock and, roll, rock and roll, and it's been accused of being many other things, and it's drifted towards different, you know, pop, or we've done a little bit of country or a little bit of Cajun, yeah. Cajun on occasions. We are not. We try not to be trendy. We try to concentrate on the music more than the, the image or the appeal or anything. Yeah, we, we would like to do things that would be uh, just as well liked uh, 10, 20 years down the line from now as they are today. By all different kinds of people. All, yeah, we, we're really interested in, in, in making good music, good rock and roll music. We're not a punk band, we're not a new wave band, we're not uh, uh, avant-garde. And when, like Matt says, we try not to be trendy. And I think we've done a good job of that. We're not calculated about what we do. We do music that we like because we like it, and uh, not for any other reason than that. It all depends on the song. Different songs have, you know, some songs are meant to make you jump up and down and, and really laugh, and other ones are, you know, supposed to make you have a chill up your spine or something like that. Mm -hmm. A variety of uh, original material, stuff that uh, vary from a, from a minute and a half song, which is very, very fast, like Teen Scene, which a lot of people just jump up and down to, mm -hmm. to a uh, longer song, which is probably about five minutes. Burn Center. Burn Center, which has a long extended guitar solo in there. So, you know, we do just about anything that falls in between those two also, and what we've currently got. Who does most of the writing, or is there Ken one does. writer? Ken well, does most of the writing, but uh, we all contribute we all to the arrangements and the yeah. musical parts. So, so in effect, we all write the stuff. Um, usually, like in the past, further back in the past, someone's come up with an idea, and uh, 
you know, we've jammed it, and somebody will add this, and somebody will add the beat, somebody else will put in a guitar part, and, uh, and we'll start vocalizing to that, just like, you know, jungle music or something. Everyone gets into it gradually. But lately we've been coming up with uh, totally arranged songs with, you know, like more fully developed ideas by the person who writes them. For instance, someone will come with a song, and they'll have an idea for the, they'll have all the lyrics, and they might have an arrangement, they might have all the chord patterns. Um, they might say, hey, Maddie, I got a lead I want you to try on this part. And that, that helps, too, because, you know, too many cooks can spoil the broth. They can also help. Where does the song Burn Center come from? Jimmy can tell you how he, he came out right there. Well, I had the music first, and I had some words, and they were about a girl, but it was a stupid idea. So it got scratched, and I came up with these other words. And so they, they fit the melody better, you know. And, the mood and everything, so that became the song. Like a soldier. 